Welcome to another episode of the American Kitchen. I'm your host, Michael Pesci. Today we are in South Florida, traveling the crossroads as we find some of the best kept secrets in the cooking industry today. Sit back, don't touch that tab, and make sure you join us for a 30 minute episode. Today we're in Wellington, Florida, and uh, we are meeting with a chef who happens to know the best kept secret of chicken. So today we're gonna go into his kitchen and see if he knows what he's talking about. Welcome back to another episode of the American Kitchen. I'm your host, Michael Pesci, and today we're in the kitchen and we're gonna be doing a pan-seared Dijon mustard chicken with a pan sauce. So come with me, we're gonna go over here to the fridge and get some of our ingredients to get started. Let me grab some uh, shallots, some cilantro, our chicken breasts, some heavy cream, and some Dijon mustard. Okay, so to get started, what we're gonna do is we're gonna mince up some shallots. And a shallot is, is an onion. It's a type of onion that is a little bit less uh, stronger and powerful, a little bit less strong. And we just wanna do a, like a, a, a quick mince on it. Mince is a fine chop on our shallots. And then we just wanna reserve that in the bowl to the side. And that's what we're gonna to use to make the sauce. The next ingredient is, this, is our cilantro. And we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna do a fine mince on that. And I like cilantro because it's like very tropical and very light, it's in flavor. And it's not as heavy as, as parsley is. So we're gonna just do a fine mince on here like this. I'm gonna reserve that in our bowl as well. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with our chicken thighs. And they're about a one ounce each. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna just lightly season it with salt and pepper. You wanna season it now because as you season it, it'll help bring out the flavors of the chicken later when the cooking process begins. So we're gonna season it on both sides. You want to heavenly season it because this is this is what's going to make the chicken bring out its most flavor. All right, and then what we're going to do is we're going to take some Dijon mustard that I have here. We're just going to take a little bit and we're going to rub it on the chicken. Just marinate it like that. All right, and then what we're going to do is we're going to take some of our parsley. We're going to sprinkle it on here like this, and that's going to be part of the. Uh, the marinade. So now what we're going to do next is we're going to take our chicken thigh here and we're going to cook it off in the uh, frying pan. We'll put a little bit of canola oil, just a little bit, into a hot pan. Swirl it around. All right. And you want to lay the breast side down first because that's what's going to be cooking. What we're going to do is we're going to sear. And searing is it's going to lock in the flavor of the juices so that they don't spill out. There we go. What we're going to do is we're going to sear that for a good uh, 20 minutes, uh, for a good uh, two minutes on both sides until the chicken is a golden brown. Right. You want to drop it into a hot, hot pan and not a cold pan because you want to give it that quick, that quick sear on it so that it captures all the flavors all in one. All right. Almost there. Flip it over. And the chicken thigh takes a little bit longer because it's um, it's more towards the the chicken leg, uh, and that's where the muscle gets moved around. So you just want to make sure you cook it for a while. Okay, and we're just going to remove it, put it on a separate plate. And what I've done here is I preheated the oven uh, to 400 degrees, and we're going to just cook it in the oven for about 10 minutes until it's cooked inside. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna work on a sauce here, and this sauce is real simple. We're gonna take the dripping simply from the uh, chicken that we just seared off. Um, you wanna make sure that you have just a little bit of cooking oil in there, because you don't want your sauce to be all oily. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the shallots and the um, cilantro that we minced up, and we're just gonna add it to the pan here and saute it for a little bit, just until it's cooked and a little tender. All 
All right, just like that. I'm gonna hit it with a little of uh, Pinot Grigio to add some flavor to it. Is we're going to cook out the alcohol. And what that means is simply we just to let it cook some to a light simmer and uh, let the alcohol cook out so that we can concentrate the flavors together. We'll let that go for about like two minutes in the pan. And what it'll do is it'll pull out all the alcohol because alcohol is heavier and it'll take all the liquid and the flavors and concentrate them together. Okay, so just like that, what I have here is I have some heavy cream. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna just pour a little bit of heavy cream in here to finish off the sauce. Give it a nice little twirl. Season it off with a little salt and pepper. And at this point, when you add the heavy cream, you want to turn down your heat so that you don't um, burn the uh, heavy cream. A little uh, salt. Okay, so now we got our pan sauce here and our chicken's almost done. Um, actually, the chicken's done right now, so what we're going to do is we're going to pull the chicken from the oven. And bring it over here with our sauce. What we're going to do is we're going to put the chicken on the dish. Put some uh, cilantro to uh, garnish it up. And um, we're going to put the, the pan sauce right, right on it like that. And there's your pan seared chicken with Dijon mustard and pan sauce. Thank you for uh, joining us in the kitchen today. Come back next week and join us for another tour around America's best kept secrets in the kitchen. I'm your host, Mike Pesci, and thank you so much.